That's really cool. Hi, we're Yvonne and Jeremy, and we're road tripping around the Western US. Today, we've crossed back into Colorado to spend half a day at Mesa Verde National Park. Today we're spending half a day visiting Mesa Verde National Park, which is in the southwest corner of Colorado, and it's the only national park in the National Park Service that is preserved for cultural reasons. And that's because the ancestral Pueblo people lived in cliff and cave dwellings here in this area from about 550 to 1300 CE. So earlier we were at the overlook up there and what the sign told us was that, oh, this is like their backyard and this is the canyon and this is what they see. And in my mind, I'm like, oh, cool. That's really cool. But where's their house? But I'm so thankful because we came back around to another stop where we got to walk around to the other side. And there you see it, their house tucked in that little corner, in that little space over there. And apparently there are 60 rooms in that space. I think it's really cool that their house is literally on the side of a mountain. I think I'm learning a lot from how the Pueblo people used to live because I think the park did a really good job preserving some of their old like pit houses and homes. So from these pit houses, what we learn is the different types of construction that they use. So first they use mostly wood and plaster to build their villages, but because of fires and because they saw how damaging fires could be to wood, they started to use stone to be their main source of construction material. That's really cool. Mesa Verde is probably most known for, or what most people think of are these cliff dwellings. And I'd have to agree, they're the most interesting and cool parts. Living in these alcoves, in these cliffs, um, that happened right before they migrated out of this area. So around 1200 or so. We're finishing off the day by looking at some of the far view sites. Something that's really interesting about the ancestral Pueblo people in Mesa Verde National Park is that different parts of the park were constructed at different time periods. So the cliff dwellings which we saw earlier are some of the later constructions, while these far view sites are some of the earlier constructions around 800 or so. So we're gonna take a short walk and look at some of these sites. And then after that, we're gonna look at some of the scenic overlooks because we're at a little bit over 8,000 feet and you can see some of the surrounding valleys and mountains. So there's a bunch of different viewpoints along the way back from which you can see the surrounding communities. Something to note, after you enter the park, there is actually a 20 or so mile drive out to where the cliff dwellings and all of the cultural and historical sites are. The tours that are offered, which really get you up close to some of the most famous cliff dwellings, they're only operated from May to about mid-October, but there's still quite a variety of different things that you can see and a lot of different interpretive signs, short walks that you can take uh, to see some archeological sites that people established. So we're enjoying Parks Point, which is the highest point in Mesa Verde National Park. And it's really beautiful because you can see all the way around you, all the way to the four corners. You can see Utah, Arizona, Colorado, and New Mexico, all from this tallest spot. And I'd say that definitely Mesa Verde, if you're not going on a cliff dwelling tour during the summertime or the early fall, then a day is the perfect amount of time to peruse the park slowly, to read the different interpretive signs, and to see the amazing feats of architecture and engineering 
that the ancestral Pueblo people constructed from 550 to 1300. So with that, we're going to finish up today's video and we'll see you in the next one.